first of all, I have to thank um, DG Camera and his staff uh, for taking the time out of their uh, Saturday to um, join me today to do this uh, visit. Um, by and large, it's working progress. Um, there are areas that, you know, since I took over as the Minister of Tourism, Arts and Culture, I must say that the GT board um, and all the players have done phenomenally well. And it's encouraging that um, the, uh, the governing body, the DG and the staff, uh, taking on board some of my uh, thoughts and ideas because it is a collective responsibility that we all have to make sure that the um, destination is a destination of choice. So, But there are also areas that need some improvement. And we are going to continue to encourage a GT board as well as the players to work uh, in tandem to make those necessary improvements. Because it's not only um, the ministry, no GT board that can improve the destination. All of us, each and every Gambian, has a role to play um, to make the destination a destination of choice because of the importance and significance of the tourism industry. So we implore each and every one, be it direct players, indirect players, to just continue the work um, and do the best for the country. But I must say I'm generally very encouraged by what I've seen and uh, will continue to work with the team um, to take the sector from where I found it to another level. Let them try to look at the approval that they gave um, the lady and see whether the construction that she is currently doing is in line with the approval because um, the way things are um, it looks like that she has gone beyond the limits but that has to be ascertained and um, it's for the team to look at it and then engage the the person and also make sure that um, whatever approval is given by the GT board I mean is respected you know, um, by by everyone. That's basically the, the issue. But um, we're not trying to, under my leadership, um, to, for GT board to deny anybody the right to um, participation in the sector, nor to prevent anybody from gaining their rightful livelihood. But it has to be done in tandem and in, in, in accordance with relevant you know, laws. So and that's what we are just trying to do. And the approach that we have adopted is to sensitize you know, before enforcement. That's what we are doing. You know, as you can see, GT Boyd um, gave notice to a number of entities whose um, establishments are not up to standard. But we went and spoke to them, you know, for them to try to do the necessary improvement so that it is much more attractive than the state in which um, they are. So, and we hope that um, they will do that. You know, if they do, fine. If they don't, we will remind them again. And, and when it gets to a stage, then we will, you know, take the stick. So we implore on everybody and encourage everybody to work together. Um, for the interests of the sector.